All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, probably the final game of the year. And next year we'll probably pick another RPG. Now, <laughs> funny enough, it was supposed to be what, well, it was supposed to be Crisis Core Reunion, and I did already buy it, but I was just kind of like, eh, I don't really want to play that right now. So I do have it. It's going to happen. It will happen eventually. But I don't feel like playing that right now. Instead, I want to play something that, A, I have not played in a very long time since I bought it. Uh, it was actually one of my first games that I actually bought on this computer when I got Steam. I think it was like Overwatch, this game, and PUBG, ironically enough. I think those are the first three games. Oh, and Final Fantasy VII, uh, the Steam version. So this game is called Lisa. And I'm warning you now, <laughs> this game is wacky as shit, and some of the subject matter might get a bit heavy. But I promise you it's actually a really good game. One dude made it from RPG Maker. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and... Let me see. Let me go ahead and just start the game. God damn, this gets loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. Dude, that is so loud. Holy crap. Let me turn it down a little bit more. That's still pretty loud. My ears are literally exploding. Okay, maybe a little bit. There we go. Let's say I think this is the furthest thing from a baby game, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, and dying in this has a very severe penalty. If I don't save, I have to fucking do it all over again. If I lose, I have to do it all over again. <laughs> Not like the whole game, but. Once again, <laughs> my son steps into my house. Beat to shit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh, 
the hell? Interact with the thing. <laughs> Who throws a baby in the air? Eat the little burrito, the loud burrito. <laughs> no, don't eat the loud burrito. I mean, he did, but fuck. It is loud and stinky. <laughs> Feed the burrito to the fat man. I think we gave the burrito a concussion. on RT games and put the baby in a blender. No thanks. That that, that sounds like some uh some base behavior type shit. The baby shouldn't be put in a blender. Are we getting what's happening right now?
<laughs> I forgot about this part. Those small bees won't leave me alone. I'd slam myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will you? Okay. I gotta turn this down just a little bit for you guys. Just in case. The music goes in though. Turn this down a little bit for me. All right, we should be good. So we gotta fight the, the baby. Armstrong style. Cheese legs. This is how we battle. Mags are our currency. You can guess what type of magazines they are. And uh, you're a pretty tough or whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you could kind of handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? Hell no. I've done it once. Not doing that again. I would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my H string. No, there is no yes for this. <laughs> I'm Terry Hintz. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the land, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. I've got a lot of fans. Yep. <laughs> you like the video game pain. The pain mode is... It is, it is something. I'm just going to say that. And there's actually a reward for doing something in pain mode, but I'm not. It's not worth it to me. Nice. If this, if this balloon wasn't here, you could walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Yep, that's a thing that can happen. Save those bottles. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, and make fire bombs with them. Or just throw them in, in a battle. So just pick them up. Alright, we're just going to delete that file. And this file. Wait, can I just delete files? Doesn't matter. Someone's got to remember you. Jumping. When you are sitting in front of a short ledge, hold up or pr then press the space bar to jump up. Hold down, then press the space bar. Try it. Okay. Caution. Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. Always looking out. Terror Bear. <laughs> I'm tired of this man already. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry Wing. Yeah, my man in his 50s on an adventure. Yeah, he's just fucking done. Grumpy. Raised a fucking kid. He's strung out on the drug. So, Joy, the blue stuff that he's, like... So a little bit of background of what just happened, just in case for the ones who didn't get it. Uh, so that blue stuff is called joy. It is a drug, which makes you happy. Uh, alcohol, booze, all that other stuff. But as you will slowly start to figure out, so they were like, "Whoa, there's a baby," and that chick who made the who had the baby must have been totally hot or something. This world is completely devoid of women. <laughs> There are no women in this world. It's a pretty big fucking deal that there is a kid uh, who is also female. I don't know for how long. It's been a while, I'm assuming, because... Oh, there's blood everywhere.
Oh. It's about to be one of those games. Just just so you're aware. It's about to be one of those. He's dead. He's dead. Oh no, the MacGuffin. Yeah, the MacGuffin's gone. He's dead. You found a rusty knife. Uh, he actually can't use this. Time to get stabby. Yeah, no, he can't use it. We got the Armstrong style. My boy Brad punches the shit out of stuff. He don't stab. So saving whenever I can is absolutely important because if I don't, I might actually fucking die and dying is not okay. Uh, let's see. Damn. He's holding something. You found diet Coca-Cola. Cola. Rotating saves. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I actually, I plan on rotating saves. Well, actually, ooh, I almost fucking fell off and died right there. Um, Every time I play this, every choice that I make, I'm actually going to have you guys help me decide this. Because you will actually, in turn, decide how difficult this game will get for me. <laughs> Just so you're aware. Alright, so some jerky and some cola. Some bottles. We're pretty good. Everybody's uh, absolutely the fucking dead. Wait. So, honestly, I think... Um, it'll be best... Like, for this game, because there's a sequel, and I do want to play that as well, but I don't think I'm going to finish that by the end of the year. I don't think I'll finish this by the end of the year. There's a, there's a chance. What's this? Combos. WASD buttons. Special attacks. That could be uh, in your skills menu. Oh, yeah. WWW. Oh, WWS does buster punches. Does that make sense? Wary Terry. Um, Skills. I did get the buster punches, and it tells you how to do it. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. Yeah. Bruh, we about to fuck you up. Uh, Terry, get him. Oh. And useless as shit. Sort of like Xenogears. Exactly. That was a crit. Bro, how are you not fucking dead? Terry is useless. That's the joke. It's old salmon swimming downstream tonight. <laughs> Terry, shout out to all my fans. He's dead. I can't believe it. 
Such an ugly girl. <laughs> Found some mystery jerky? Okay. Uh, I should probably actually use that right about now. There you go. Okay, should be good. I don't really need Terry to do much. People are fucked up here. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. There's only one female that they know of, and it's that kid. He said, Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. They, they do know what a female is. Most of these people were old enough, like, by that point. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. This dude really wanted to throw hands, though. This motherfucker can't even throw... He can't even throw arms. All right, Terry, get him. Well, zero damage, still. Just walk away? No, no, no. Fuck this guy. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> he, he, he didn't know about the smoke. He didn't know what was going to happen to him. Verbal bash. Oh, sick drops. Okay. Like, he just, he just wanted to... He thought he could handle me. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm, I'm, is picking the... Eh. Mystery jerky. Oh. Alright, man. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys search around in case she's already been through here. Got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifter's out. Oh, boy. Is this a joke, bald man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? I'll give you a taste. Oh. Discard, Terry. Swings with full force my asshole. Like, this dude's literally wrecking us right now. Oh, shit. Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell. <laughs> what the fuck? He gotta hit you with the brother in the cross shop, pretty much. Alright, got eight mags and mystery jerky. Sick. Hmm. There's a lot of dead ass dudes over here. Holy shit. Um. Holla holla, if you hear me. Really need to get that off my chest. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> Damn, everybody just sucks. It really do kind of be like that right now.
Found some domestic jerky. Oh, domestic jerky. Uh, I'm gonna heal up though. Thousand HP. Shit. <laughs> Oh, and if we do fall off the stuff, we take fall damage and or death. So, especially if it's too high, they're dead. Do you break your legs from height? No, but we might as well should be doing that. They're dead. You suffered serious damage. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Because of your arthritis? <laughs> this man won't have... <laughs> he won't have arthritis riding on Bambi. Howdy, motherfucker. Our paths hath crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally, you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. But, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life, or all of your belongings. Like that kid, hello, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how you want to come in, riding in on a ba riding in on Bambi. Choose wisely. What will you give us? Fuck Terry. <laughs> He's useless. <laughs> Take his life? So you want Terry's so Terry's life, right? Instead of my belongings? Keep my shit? Keep your stuff? Okay. Keep your stuff. Alright. Terry's life it is. Bye, Terry. It's been fun. Sort of. Sorry, I clicked off the window. Ho, ho, ho! I knew I liked you, Brad. Bring the yellow shirt man with us. We make we must make haste. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. Why do they look like potatoes? That's just that's just how they look, man. Terry Hintz has been taken. So we gave up a man's life for three pieces of beach jerky, a Diet Coca-Cola, three drug, and four empty bottles. He doesn't need a female for excitement, just saying. <laughs> yeah, we, we gave up all of our, we gave him our stuff for some bullshit. We killed a man. Oh, thank God I remembered that. Yes, and. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that dude literally exploded. Yeah, he just exploded from ass out. Like, not okay. I I was like, I looked at it and I was like, oh, right. I'm staying away from that. Oh, I'm stupid. I can't get over there yet. Nice, can't wait for the mushrooms. Uh-oh. Seems like the storm is brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, I can you can have some soup. Also, if you need to rest, you can use my tent. Take some soup? Yep. Uh take some soup? Yep. Yep.
Okay, nothing weird happened. Because weird shit can absolutely happen in this game. Uh, oh. Whoa. Holy heck. Uh, the world can be saved. Finder. Satisfacts. Oh. I'm never going to remember any of this. Bam. He raped you. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> See, empty bottle more important than Terry. <laughs> Shit. I should probably take a sniff of this because I'm legit not going to remember these status ailments. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. If I can remember how. Okay, got it. And I'll just put that right over here. Perf. Okay. Scared stops you in your tracks. Slightly as a cry obscures your vision. Piss makes you go berserk. Drunk, strong, but slow and dumb. Hangover reduces everything. Stink makes people avoid you. Depression makes life suck. <laughs> no. Yeah, most of the men have to actually be pretty old. And if not, they were young to start with. Withdrawal makes you all oh, hurt you all over. And joyed makes it all better. Oiled makes you flammable. Oof. Slight infants decreases. Stops you in your tracks. Ah, motherfucker! DDA. Got him. Yeah, there are a lot of status effects in this game. My intestines are in disarray. Wait, later, fucking nerd. He's full of holes. Yikes. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Oh, okay, bye. Already do a be better without Terry. <laughs> you guys really didn't like Terry, like right off the bat. No Terry hints fan club, huh? Damn. I mean, yeah, I get it, but. <laughs> Let's find her. Ooh. Oh. Hey, pal, you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no. Just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. I'm closing my eyes. Good night, Olaith. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Oh. Bye. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. A balding guy in pink and a phallic <laughs> headed man <laughs> in green cut the bridge out. They looked really scared. Neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then, all of a sudden, three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. The chick... That chick looked ugly. Yeah, damn, bro. Yeah, I can't go across there, so... We're not... We're not doing that. 
Look, usefulness is what is needed in these types of situations. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. The world is fucking over. See that red skulls? Uh, it means Rando's army has taken over, which sucks, because the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I going to make fire bombs? Uh, by stealing them off of people, of course. You found a cigarette. Hell yeah. Mm, nope. Damn, saying that even being the last woman, they still wouldn't touch her with a 10-foot pole? Yeah, like, that's even worse. Like, they are kind of picky. Ow. I took damage. Yeah, they're pretty picky for people who uh, legit have no women in their life. They're just like, no bitches? Oh, shit, she's ugly. <laughs> like, I'm not touching that. I mean, that's some shit, though, right? Imagine being the last woman on Earth, and then guys are like, oh, you're fucking gross. Like, <laughs> that's fucked up. Like, it's so fucked up. Smooth. Ah, Jesse. Hmm. Bitch. <sighs> oh, the old bar. Yo, what's happening, my man? You got a couple of mags for me? I'll run with your... I'll run with your pack, brother. An energetic ex-pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutts. El Rage always puts the battle first. And it's El Second. He has high speed and attack, but somewhat low defense. Uh, I have to give him 70 mags to get him. I have a little interest... In scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. Buy him a drink, 20 mags, or walk away. <laughs> I'm so slow like an old person. Am I really that broke? I have 36 mags. I'm not broke. So should I just not buy these guys yet? Hmm. I'm getting this, dude. Potato liquor. Well, like, looking at your bank account that I, like, I can eat, can I eat today? Yeah, like, can I eat today? Can I, uh, can I get? By the way, this sound effect is it's great in the background, isn't it? <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we have a new party member. And we can actually get all the party members in this game. Uh, I mean, some of them, not all of them, though. It's going to be kind of impossible. Uh, that's the join sign. You don't like it? It sounds great.
I don't want to talk to this guy. We're going to be here for 20 years. Shit, I can't loot his stuff, huh? <laughs> God help me. Are you guys ready for this shit? Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the great historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaith and what happened. Many tales, would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Boring. We're picking yes, I totally care. Hmm, I wish you were more, more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. All right, it all started with what I would like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Oh wait, maybe she bought it in from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time-consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch, drinking sw sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course. Ho, ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've learned many years, and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. The wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho. I slid in my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? <laughs> Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now, my neighbor at the time, Tom Fortnight, he, he was very short. His wife, Karen Fortnight Plateburger. Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor of minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I could tell by the way you're walking away. You don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once up upon a hot summer night, sometime in July, was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in the heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to go off, get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other That's uh, none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow ho ho so i sat in the tv room avoiding her until the barbecue once we were at the party i made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife <laughs> jeez 
Jesus Christ! <laughs> God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom. Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Wait. Are you done? Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. It's like I'm a kid again and listening to the elder people. Elderly just drone on and on and on. That's... I'm assuming that's what it is, because that is the funniest shit I have ever read. And, well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What, are you following me or something? Ho oh. ho! Anyway, I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Every, even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes day lasts ages and nights come rarely in these clouds. So strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a really kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard that the new artist on the radio, Ulysses... <laughs> Ulysses... U Ulysses... <laughs> this is stupid! Ulysses uh, utensils. She's maybe some young woman, maybe a boy. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there's water, some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big old melons. <laughs> Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. <laughs> Nern Guan joined your party. Are you understanding what... Are you understanding what type of game we're playing now? Do you get it? Do you get it? This game is fucking wacky as shit. Yeah, he was a party. He's a hundred percent a party member. Like that. That. That's my boy. Like my boy Nern. Like the introduction. Can we sacrifice him next? <laughs> Savage. But oh. You deal with it. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to laugh, but I, <laughs> the sound effect, when he, <laughs> when he dropped the baby, I almost spit my fucking soda out all over my goddamn thing. Do I get a two for one coupon? Oh. You found a leather poncho. Uh, I'm taking the itchy poncho off. Get me, give me that leather one. Hell yeah.
Listen here, brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to get me the refreshing, <laughs> refreshing bottle of liquor. I do it myself, but I'm all washed up. Right on, brother. Here's those greasy pages. You gave me your potato liquor. You got 50 magazines. Party time. Drunkomania. <laughs> I'm saying that every time I drink now. I forgot about this. It's funny that you mentioned Hulk Hogan earlier, and I forgot he was in here. Uh, uh, somewhat like him, but we, it's just Hulk Hogan. It's just Hulk. Th thanks, brother. Uh, good luck. <laughs> People think this girl is some kind of godsend. That ain't, so it's gonna tear us all apart. Based behavior. Buzz off. Don't mind Eagle. He's a bit of a prick. <laughs> Ow! God damn it. Hello, old chum. Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. You obviously don't know business. Yeah, I... Mm. By the way, isn't it crazy that dudes are practically just wearing ponchos, nipples out and everything? This dude looks like a fucking diglet. Take some soup? Absolutely. Honestly, I'm happier now that the world has ended. It helps that my wife and kids aren't here. <laughs> a fucking break. That, that's the uh, that's what he apparently signed up for was a fucking break. Wee. Oh jeez. Wait. I always gotta check. What the hell, dude? That hurt. What a rush. That was great. Take this. Got a bottle of perfume. Uh, I should probably go visit the shopkeeper. Couldn't stick the landing. <laughs> no. Try buying something for me. I dare ya. Damp poncho prevents burning. Just a square of old carpet. It's flammable. That's funny as fuck. A dainty shawl. Drab tank top. Oh. Yeah, I know. He, he was all for me fucking up his homeboy. Like, all for it. Ah, the safe crow. Oh, Jesus. What's up, dog? There's an abandoned building just down the way here. My friends and I are playing some cards in there. I just stepped out for some air, but you should join us. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> well, hi. <laughs> okay, Nern has a revolver. Plus seven. Plus three wouldn't really make a difference, but plus seven, though, would be pretty good. I don't know, but that's a lot of magazines. I'm going to save those, just in case. Okay, bye. Oh. Found a cigarette.
the men only started killing each other after a woman appeared. <laughs> yeah, that, that might have something to do with it. Just a little bit. Oh shit, it's a less bald version of me. Welcome to Bill Muhammad's Iron Tiger Karate Center. Would you like to learn my Iron Tiger technique? It won't be easy, sure. First a test. See that cliff over there? You must fall off of it until I think you're proven your, your you have proved your worth. Okay, I got all I got a, a lot of health. I'm fine. So, uh, how about that local sports team? He just hates you? <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna say about 100 HP worth, right? I don't remember what triggers half the shit in this game. What does this prove? That I'm doing what I'm told, I can take a hit, and that I have the discipline to see a task through. I, I have no fucking idea, but it, it sounds like some arbitrary shit. So we'll just go with that the first thing I said. Okay, I think I I think I did enough. Well done. You've proven your power. Got a karate skull. Make sure you read it. It's written in English. It can't be that authentic. Increases defense. Got anything else? Well, okay, I'm out of here. That's bull! <laughs> well, I mean. Oh, I'm going in here. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, Ugh, down in my heart. I got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart, down in my heart today. Ugh, joy, down in my heart. How about you? Hey, yo, we about to get jumped. Oh. It's you. Your heart seems unhappy. Let's cheer it up. You got some joy. Remember to take care of yourself. I'll check up on you soon. The door won't budge. Um, alright. Well, we're done here. You're walking with a concussion. And that's why all of this is happening, actually. I just have one big fucking concussion. And a drug problem. That was a cult? Oh, that was fine. We got the joy. And so do you. You know, I... I wanted to go play cards, but I guess I'm not going to do that. Well, then, that was interesting. Let's go to the B Rocket R. Um. Okay, never mind. Did we go inside this house already? This joy sounds like crack. I mean... <laughs> I guess it probably is. Oh. 
Oh, I am going to fucking die if I fight that, so I'm going to leave that alone. Matter of fact, I'm so sure that I'm going to die that I'm not even going to... Oh, he scared the fuck out of me. God damn it. Oh my lord. Oh, withdrawn. Right. I gotta wait for his... Oh, his withdrawal did go away already. So we're good. Yeah, Brad will suffer from withdrawal in the mi in the middle of a fight. What the fuck was that thing? Oh, uh, something we'll worry about later. We can't do anything about it right now. But when we do, we'll come back and deal with it. I did it all for the nookie. They're dying. I'm fine. Any liquor? Bro felt. Yeah, he was <laughs> he kinda fucked me up. Besides, I We're not taking this. I'm just saying. That is one thing I will not condone. This ad is sponsored by Mart <laughs> Martlow Cigarettes. Wait, don't I have soup? I do. Uh, 500 HP is a lot. Oh, and it revives an ally. I don't know, when motherfuckers can hit me for like... 70 though. Kinda need Brad alive. Fuck. Don't do drugs, kids. Exactly. How many mags do I have? 70? I could go back and go get the other guy. Brad, stop bleeding. Okay, good. Uh. Progression through this game gets pretty quick. Oh, this song is so good. What's up, bruh? This girl's the girl's just up ahead. She's in an old clubhouse. But those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. So now I'm gonna kick their pretty out of you, prick. I didn't even do nothing. <sighs> This is, Booker Clinton is astounded by your stupidity. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure he's about to one-shot the shit out of me. DDA. He's moving down the sexy people like a system. He's mowing down the sexy people like the system of a down. Holy shit. Uh, fuck. Dude, I already forgot the combo. I was reading stuff. It's DDA. What the fuck? Oh, 
Oh. I need to stun him, though. Oh, my God. Damn it. Nice. Dude, he's fucking bleeding. No! <laughs> Why aren't you stunned? Alright. We gotta use the perfume already? Thank you! I'm unsinkable, like the Titanic. But I'm bones. Oh, yes, the fireball. Perfect. My literal full on stop bleeding. Yay. Yep, and we can't explore through here. Not yet. Wait, maybe. Oh no, I think I think we can we can go through here, right? I think we should just jump on this dude's head. Oh, well, that was stupid. Don't even try to think. Don't even tr think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple of pounds. Well, that hurt my feelings. We're good. <laughs> I'm not saying that. That I will not say. <laughs> but I you you've been heard. <laughs> but I will not be saying that. Not not a fucking chance in hell. <laughs> it's fucking dark. Pull no pulling no punches with them words. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Okay, I guess I can go in here. Uh, it's dark as fuck in here. I don't want to go in there. Let's go this way. Wait. You know, I should probably save. Right? And I should probably rest to get the full heal. Hell yeah, I'm gonna take some soup. Oh shit, he's out. You need a lamp and a gun. Alright, no weird shit has happened to me. Oh! Ah! You suffered a serious head injury. Your SP has decreased. Your luck has decreased. He's knocked out cold. So fucking mad right now. Oh. Yeah, it's the apocalypse, right? Dude just came out swinging. 
Oh, you know what? I could make it over there to that hole. I'm gonna go do that. I didn't even do nothing. Oh, I exist. That's that's what happened there. <laughs> my ribs. Oh, my ribs. Okay. Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. What are you... Oh, uh-oh, Tommy. <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? Got the bucket. You fool! <laughs> Why does it happen so fast? <laughs> Not that bucket. That was my gasoline bucket. That bucket. Get that bucket of water quick. You know, the wording game is very, very important and actually pointing in the right direction. You got the bucket. I don't think that bucket's gonna... <laughs> You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. Um, if it makes any difference, I'm sorry, but your um sense of telling me what to do was very unclear. I don't have rope to get across. I'm too much of a fat fuck to apparently... Oh, nope. Too dark. Too dark, too scary. Well, time to consume them to gain their youth. Ha! Yeah, and I'm too fat to go over here, so we can't do that. Oh, you know what? There was one part that I didn't check. Because literally for me, it's just remembering where I haven't gone, and then that's where I'm supposed to go. So let's go back down here. Because I hella did get fucking ambushed, though. I'm going to try and fight that thing, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to absolutely 120 fucking 5% fucking die. So, like in your 60s, F. Isn't this where we found Nern? Yeah, that prick. Yeah, this is where we found him, so we don't want to be here. Now, we need to save before we go fight this guy, because, um, yeah. Firebombs would be really helpful right now, but I don't have any. He don't look approachable. Oh, he's very, very much approachable. Just, uh... <coughs> not in a way that I don't think we uh, would like very much. And hell, we're only like, what, level 5 or some shit? Yeah, we're only level 5. I'm pretty sure we're going to get our shit pushed in, but we're going to try. Another reason why pain mode is uh, not a viable option, because I don't remember what I can and cannot do. Fireball. W WSD.
there it is. Oh, yeah, he was just going to one-shot me. Very weird and pissed. Are you seeing the problem? Oh, no fucking way! Yo, the god crit. The god crit. What the fuck? Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Damn, he went from level... Oh my god, dude. You found a trash bag shawl. Yo, the god crit. What the fuck? Oh, man, I hope I don't get into another battle. Because that was hella fucking lucky. I was going to come back and fight him, but... I'll take it. All right, we should probably save, though. <laughs> oh, he's still knocked out. We didn't even have to use any healing items or anything. That was actually uh, pretty good. Hell yeah, re rest right there. Ugh, I was expecting something horrible to happen, but okay, we're good. We're alive. And uh, the other character is a higher level than we are. All right, um, well, there's only one other place I can go to. Where is it? Is it over here? No, I think it's the hole, small hole. And then we go through, because that's where the rest of the game continues on. Turn back. Well, shit. What the fuck? The snake bears its fangs. Um... Yeah, that motherfucker did too much damage. Found some fancy perfume. Okay. Um, these dudes are literally about to die, though. Good thing I fucking got soup. God damn. Dude. No, I pressed W. Okay, we're good. Shit. Oh, these fucking snakes are gonna kill me. Items. Uh, bottle of soup. Items. Oh, it heals poison. Cigarette. 
And I'm gonna hit him with this. Oh, you bitch. All right, now we can fight. Oh! Please stop killing all my guys. Please, I just want to get through here without dying. And there's just a dude. D-W-W-A. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Just lying in the grass, man. You shouldn't be doing that. How, how fucking dare you? Relax and enjoy yourself. gonna be another snake I already know yep um <laughs> holy shit You've got to be fucking kidding. Why? <laughs> All right, drop kick again. <laughs> Fuck you. Items, cigarette, bread. Shoot. Fuck. Rest here? Yep. If you want your guy back, come find us, Blue Rockets. Oh shit, they took the, the arrow guy. Ugh, so yeah, that's another thing that can happen. They can randomly just take all your shit. I kind of need him. They'll randomly just take one of your... One of your party members. You gotta be fucking joking. It's all random, too. Like, I just have no luck right now. Dude, come on. Don't make me fight a whole shitload of them on my way back. Cause this oh, this sucks! 
Oh, God damn it. And I got withdrawals. Same time. Worst fucking timing ever. Okay. Uh, I need to rest and then go visit the Blue Rockets. We're down a whole ass party member. Um, shit, which way was it? It wasn't that way. Fuck. Whoa, boss, he actually came. He looks mad. Shut up. Keep that knife on him. Stick to the plan. Hey, cue ball, you want your boy back? It'll cost you 100 dirty mags. Or your pal gets the knife. Oh, I don't have enough mags. Oh, oh my god. And he's like my highest level dude. This fucking bomb thing would be very fucking helpful right about now. Shit, I only saved like a few rooms back though. I need a hundred mags. Oh, I can sell stuff. Oh yeah, I have a whole bunch of joy on me. Why don't I just fucking sell that? Let me walk to the next room over. Just in case.
Okay, now we gotta go back to where we were. Because we made the mistake of falling asleep outside. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. This game is pretty brutal like that. Okay, back we go. Excuse me. I don't know why I did that attack. DWWA, that's what I was trying to do. What the hell? Oh, the... <laughs> I'm now back in the same situation. I actually have to fucking uh, rest there again. No more. I swear to God, not again. Just please, please let me be lucky. Please let me be lucky. Please. Oh, God damn it. Okay, this is fine. Oh, my shit's still here. You know, my shit's still here. Look at its smile. Disgusting. I've watched this thing, this beast kill dozens. Yet at this moment, I can just sit here and stare into its eyes. And it just starts back. It just stares back, smiling. But you want to kill it, don't you? You'll need something explosive. Firebombs, perhaps. And some good men. Then you may stand a chance. I don't have fire bombs, so Wawa. Wawa why? Why Wawa? Damn. Uh, W 
dusty. Oh my god, Nern. I kinda needed you. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. close damn it it's auto battling I'm fucked what does feeling weird do reduces defense and attack well fuck me we'll do Wawa I guess Damn it. I need you to die now. Okay. Brad lives, so that's 2,000 HP. I'm good with that. Hmm, poor thing. Found a child's bicycle. 
Access room key uh, dismount by using shift. And I'm going to regret this. Oh, come on. Watch your back. Okay. Not ominous at all. snake <laughs> what did I learn Inc assume a sturdy horse stance increase SP Dude, I'm okay with getting the experience, but Jesus Christ. Okay. Dude, I swear to God, the snake one shots my fucking party members again. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I hit him for a crit. I'm like, he better fucking die. I'm like, what the shit? No more. Dude. Dude. No. And there it is. I have to redo that whole boss fight all over again. Fuck. Me. The beginning of the game is so fucking hard. <laughs> I have Wawa, right? Yeah, I do. No, actually, I don't. I, I get it here, though.
Fuck off, dude. No weird shit. Just let me rest so I can just continue on. Oh, it's taking too long. Oh, no. What? I can't see shit. Wait. Dude, I can't see anything. Oh my god, what is this? What status ailment did I even get hit with? What is happening? I need to be able to control Brad, dude.
shit. Well, good thing they're scared stiff, because... Oh, thank God. Okay. Dog, I can't see shit. Okay, thank God. All right, fix it. Prac did that whole fucking battle without any of the battle animations, but it's fine. Oh, thank God. I don't know what that was, but I had to literally do that blind. That almost kind of sucked. Take the one turn win. Shit, if you would have had that sooner, I think that would have been okay.
<sighs> I just need to save. Thank God. Okay. All right, we want to leave that guy alone. Okay. Bear bros, watch out these guys, they won't stop rolling for anything. Slow feet mean dead meat. Aha. <laughs> Suck a dick, roly boys. They have a fucking gun. Oh, they're not that bad, actually. <laughs> 